with your permission, I will clarify what is self-defense under international law and so that everyone can understand, well, there is not such a thing uh, that Israel could claim. So, um, in common language, self-defense might be understood as the right to protect oneself. But however, Article 51 of the UN Charter that Israel has invoked uh, is, uh, is not just the right to protect itself. It's, it's a very, it's a self-defense under international law. It's a legal term of art and means the right to wage a war, which Israel doesn't have. And this is consolidated jurisprudence of the Supreme Judicial Organ of the United Nations. Uh, um, and uh, I understand that practice, my, state practice might diverge, United States and Iraq, but the law remains the law, and this is what we should follow. So um, the right of self-defense can be invoked when, uh, when a state is threatened um, uh, by another state, which is not the case. Israel has not claimed that that has been threatened by another state. Uh, it's, it's been threatened by, um, <laughs> by an armed group qualify it the way you want, but it's an armed group within the occupied territory. And frankly, even saying the war between Gaza and Israel is wrong because Gaza is not a standalone entity, it's part of the occupied territory. But so, in particular, the Israel cannot claim the right of self-defense uh, against a threat that emanates from the territory it occupies, uh, from a territory that is kept under belligerent occupation. And this is not only this exists in the jurisprudence of the ICJ uh, in general, it's also been said in the case of the occupied Palestinian territory.